Episode number five. So today I finally give away the sweet hammer that I made in episode one. People left a comment that entered them into the drawing. The drawing is today. At the end of today's episode, episode number five, I'm going to draw the winner. I'm either going to hand it to him or give it to him. I don't know who it is yet. It's going to be good. I then build this railroad spike bottle opener. You'll see me put that together. My dog sort of helped me find it. <clears throat> kind of. Anyway, I put that together. I'm giving that away in one month from today. So on February 15th, I'm gonna draw a winner for that. Now, to enter into that drawing, you have gotta get your entry in by February 10th. I'm having a cutoff. By February 10th, get your entry in. Here's how you enter. In the video, you'll see me stamp a number in the side of that railroad spike bottle opener. That number is somewhere between one and 10. Guess a number, put it in the comments. I'll know that you wanna enter into the drawing, and if you get the right number, I put your name into a hat. And then on February 15th, I draw the winner, and I send it to him or I hand it to him. Enjoy today's video. So we gotta go find something to forge for this episode. We can make something and give it away. This will be a fun one. But I didn't find anything in the dumpster. I need a little bit of help from my dog. So we're gonna go out looking around, see what we can find. Let's go. I got my dog right on the prowl. She's gonna find us something to forge, hopefully. Oh, she's sniffing something there. Nope. Oh, maybe something there. Hmm, no. You gotta find something, Belly Dog. Find it. You gotta find something to forge. Hmm, nope. Oh, did she find it? Oh, she found it. Oh, what do we got right here, puppy dog? Oh, let's take a look. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, oh, oh. What'd you find? What'd you find? Oh, my goodness. What do we got here? Is that off of a Spanish galleon? No, wait a minute. No, I know what it is. It's one of them spikes they put in the landing gear of them, you know, 747s that fly overhead where I live. Pretty sure that comes off an airplane. We'll, we'll go make something out of it anyway. All right. Bella Dog's back in the house. She did a good job. Check out what she found. All right. Guilt got the best of me. So, it was all staged. Yeah. What's this? Oh, did she find it? And that's not really off an airplane or a galleon. It's a railroad spike. I got a bunch of them, but keep mind of this. What you should not do is walk the railroad tracks and pull these babies out the ground because that's this word called um, uh, don't do it. That's what it is, don't do it, because that's somebody's property. These were actually something I got off of a fellow who uh, had a hookup to be able to buy them in a bucket. I got a bucket of them so I can do small projects. Let's get going. Oh, wait, I've got to clean this mess of a shop. So as it turns out, there happens to be a lot of garbage in here I got to get rid of. When I say garbage, I don't mean that sweet Camaro. Take this here railroad spike, we're gonna turn it into something like maybe a uh, bottle opener. Mm, how original is that? Anyway, I'm gonna rip out a bottle opener real quick, fast forward, and then it's gonna be done. And then I'm gonna have this as my next giveaway. And then I'm doing a drawing finally for that hammer right there to give it away. Let's see how it goes.
So this is real life, you know. With my excellent planning skills, I ran out of propane. So, you know, I figured that's probably for the best to do that right on video, because this is real life. Yep. Oh, I hope we weren't gonna have a blizzard barbecue tonight. This is Maine. There goes the burgers. This old tank right here off the grill, this ought to, this ought to get her going good. It'll probably freeze up, but we'll still be able to forge that, make it be what it needs to be. So pay attention, I'm gonna stamp a number in there between one and 10. It might be one, it might be 10, it might be, you know, two, three, seven, eight, yeah, you know. Pretty well tuned in. We'll get her opening up a bottle here. Obviously, I'm not about to grab it right now. So, in unrelated news, my friend dropped off my engine crane. I'm just gonna pull it in real quick. <laughs> yeah, look at what he got me. <laughs> How can you not like friends like that? So there it is, far in the dirty hands, but that's what the working man gets. Now, I've polished it up a little bit, put some blacksmith goo on it. We'll give it its first road test on the high dollar shop soda. Works, man. I gotta tell you, I got this addiction after I build something where I just like to fondle it, look at it, gawk at it. Probably that makes me abnormal, but whatever. So this thing is rock solid. I have stamped a number into this. This number is somewhere between one and 10. You can't read it from there. 
And basically, in the comments of this video, this video only, you leave your guess of what the number is. It's either going to be 1 or 10 or anywhere in between. 1 to 10. You guess the number right, you're entered into the drawing. I will have the drawing for this on the 15th of February 2021. So basically, a month from today. It'll be a giveaway. I will send it to you or hand it to you. And how can you not want something like that? That thing is freaking sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it up. Love it. Love it. But I really like it. I'll give it up. I swear I'll give it up. It's nice, but it's coming to you, or at least the winner. I think you're the winner. Thank you for watching this episode. I'm hoping that you didn't fall asleep. <clears throat> you know who you are. Enjoy. See you next time. Subscribe, like, blow this stuff up. I'm enjoying this channel. Good morning, everybody. I got my shop, Joe. It is officially the hammer winner pulling out of the hat day. Said that wrong. Anyway, we're gonna go with it. So this is the very day. This is January 15th, 2021. Bright and early in the morning for me. Probably not so much for you by the time I load all this stuff up. But this is officially the day I pull the winner out of the hat. My loving woman was nice enough to, you know, do all the paperwork in the household. Because there's two things I'm not so good at in our relationship. Uh, one of them's paperwork. The other one's doing drive through orders. So she just leans over and puts those in. Anyway. I would have, oh, wait a minute. You're probably wondering, why does he have candles burning first thing at the morning at the table? You know. Well, I'll be honest with you, candles at the table are fun and fun to play with. So if you don't play with candles at the table, then we probably can't be friends. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, safety tip. When you go to a restaurant with candles at the table, I don't care where you go, everywhere I go, they do not give you flame retardant napkins. So just keep that in mind. Those babies light right up. All right, so anyway, we gotta get in here. We gotta get us a winner. There we go. And here, oh. This is the one that stuck in my fingers. We are going with it. Mark Bigelar. I'll be getting a hold of you so I can put you into ownership of this here hammer. Enjoy. I almost forgot. Do not miss your chance to enter into the drawing for this railroad spike bottle opener that I crafted in this video. Just rewind the video and check out the rules, but basically you gotta guess a number from one to 10. If you get it right, you get entered into the hat for the drawing. You gotta have your entry in before February 10th of 2021. And I will then do the drawing in the video on the 15th. So basically, yeah, do that because it's fun. And spread this stuff around. If you enjoy what's going on here, you might know somebody that likes it or maybe not either way do it oh don't forget to be cheap cheesy and crafty we'll see you in the next episode